many people feel that it's a, a waste of time because what are you going to learn in addition to what you have already read on the institution's website and on different forums so the only thing that i can tell these people is that um, see what you are saying is basically right you are not going to know anything extra but only thing is you will be properly informed of the latest updates the latest policies hi guys my name is pratik joshi and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'll be answering questions related to the admission webinars why are they really required what sort of information is provided in these webinars and what is the difference between the information provided here and on the internet or on the websites is it really required for a student to attend or is it just really a waste of time so without wasting much time let's get started so firstly you need to understand uh, what are these webinars so uh, the admission webinars are something which are organized by the admission committee of a particular institution uh, what they do is basically each course has its separate webinar where the admission committee uh, clarifies doubts uh, different questions related to admissions and the particular curriculum for that course Uh, also all the aspirants who uh, are interested in these courses or are planning to at least uh, maybe get to know what this course is how this course will go on what are the possible scenarios in this course can help you in your particular life that is why certain people attend this seminars so that is basically the aim of this session is basically to promote information about that course and to clear out any myths or any speculations which have been floating around so basically there are uh, three major type of sessions that are organized by the admission committee for a particular course the first one is basically a normal faq or a q and a session where they only take questions there is no explanation on what the course is or uh, basically what the course consists of but here only questions are answered by all the members of the admission committee uh, basically it can be a live session or just like send in your question through the chat window and someone just replies to the same question i attended one q and a session for a very reputed institution and around 500 to 550 questions were answered in one hour which is great okay so lot of questions which i did know uh, could uh, take place or certain scenarios which can take place during the admission process were clarified in that session which helped me a lot so yes so that is my experience of a normal q and a session next we have the alumni interaction basically any person who has graduated from that particular course comes up and they speak stuff about how that course helped them uh, uh, in the real world how they got their job how it helped them uh, be uh, comfortable in their lives and all that then comes the third kind which is basically the admission webinars here Uh, the admission committee explains each and everything about that course uh, basically when it's going to start what is the tuition fee uh, on what location is going to be held uh, how is the plan that is decided for the coming year because now uh, due to covid uh, there are certain speculation that classes may be offline online in campus off campus so all these questions are answered beforehand by the admissions committee in these sessions so the next question that um, naturally occurs to anyone is when do these events take place so these events take place for every admission cycle so basically there are three admission cycles first one is mostly uh, in august or september the second one is december january and the third one is mostly in march april so yeah so these events the q and a session the alumni interaction and the admission uh, webinar all of these take place at least once for every admission cycle so if you are really interested to attend even one out of this then what you can do is go to your desired institution's website and register yourself it's very simple you can just go there drop your email your first name your last name uh, what course you are interested in what is your background in terms of education and your work experience and they will let you know uh, when this particular event is scheduled maybe in the coming month or the coming weeks so that keeps you alert for such events so when it comes to uh, basically deciding whether to attend these sessions or not it is basically a personal choice many people feel that it's a, a waste of time because what are you going to learn in addition to what you have already read on the institution's website and on different forums 
so the only thing that i can tell these people is that uh, see what you are saying is basically right you are not going to know anything extra but only thing is you will be properly informed of the latest updates the latest policies and the latest changes that have been taking place in the course and in the admission of that particular course so if you can just spare out one hour and uh, maybe get your new questions or queries resolved in this session it would really be great that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you have any queries or questions regarding this particular a video or regarding your admission webinars drop them down in the comment section below if this video has added any value to you in terms of your mba preparation then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, i'll be coming soon with another video so until then be happy stay safe and all the best for your prep